internet so as you can already tell you should know what this video is about it is my August Zen Pop box unboxing and I'm so glad to do this video because I have a lot of things to tell you guys to update you on as part of this unboxing so before I get into the unboxing I just want to quickly let you guys know last time when I did an unboxing they sent me a pen that unfortunately the lid had snapped off or popped off in the mail somehow I assume it was in the mail I really couldn't imagine anyone packing it um, and intentionally taking the lid off and one side had completely dried out and I was pretty upset because I couldn't really use it but you guys were really really helpful you gave me some amazing suggestions and I'm happy to tell you that the pen works again so I just want to quickly show you this was the one in question Z calligraphy so a lot of you guys recommended spraying it with some water and letting it sit for a while which is exactly what I did it is a water-based pen so this was a side that didn't work and it works so I kind of wish I knew that before I went and contacted Zenpop because I felt really bad they they actually did send me a replacement and then now that I've got this working I'm like oh I've got two pens and I feel a little bit guilty about that but I did want to show you that the pen did work and the way to fix it is to spray a little bit of water and let it rest for a while so that was really good but I also wanted to let you guys know that they did replace the pen they've put it in this box so let's open it up and see what's in my box for August so we've got just a little thank you sheet this I usually toss because I don't think it has much does much thank you Aww. so for those of you who may not know Zen Pops doesn't just do stationary box the stationary box is one of the many boxes they actually do issue they do have I think three or four others um, and one of them is like different types of ramen you can eat so every month you get like 10 or 12 packs of ramen or something like that all different flavors and then they have a sweets one as well but anyways this is a little voucher so that's awesome and then this is the notes so this month is back to school because I guess if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, like in Japan, August, or was it September? I can't remember. Any of you Americans watching can probably tell me that um, I think the school, like the next school year starts around this time. In Australia, it's very different. We usually start the next school year in like January, February, depending on what sort of school you go to. Okay, wow, there's a lot. Okay, so the thing they did mention is that two of the things they included they wanted to replace my pen so they used, got this blue one and they what's really cute is they said they were sticky taped lids down so it wouldn't fall out so they have sticky taped it down and that is so cute and then they wanted to throw in a little bonus friction pen as a apology slash thank you so they sticky taped that down too and they didn't have to do that that's just so kind of them so I'm really impressed with the service and I'm really really happy about it so I will demonstrate these pens at the end of the video I'll demonstrate all the pens at the end of the video just so you can see so this one is a ballpoint pen a black ballpoint pen which I will try later I'm just gonna skip ahead to this one just because I wanted to get the pens out but this I love these I actually have a lot of these already yes they are essentially like dual sided highlighters you've got like the finer tip down here and then the wider tip up here I will test these out for you later Okay, so let's get into what we've got here. I'm just gonna pick as I go. Ah, there you go. There's like a little flap here. And it's basically kind of like a little flip chart. No, not flip chart. They're basically like, they're essentially just word cards. So what you can do is, especially for me, someone like me right now, where I'm trying to memorize a lot of Japanese vocab, I can write the vocab on each card and take this around with me. And when I'm bored, I can just flip through and try and study. So something like this is really good. So that's very cool. And the next one is these gooey clips. Oh, they're just like paper clips. They're like paper clips, but they're very different in how they work. Okay. I don't know. I'll try and bring this up. That's essentially this clip kind of is this and you put it on the paper and it snaps lock onto it. I'll open it up so you guys can see. Camera can focus. But there you go. You can kind of see the teeth on the inside. I guess you just slot that onto paper and it clips it together like a paper clip. That's really cool. And very unique. I have not seen these anywhere in Australia before, so it's going to be cool to start using these. And the next one I have here is a tape glue gun. I actually have a few of these already because I do find them very useful, especially when I'm putting together my little sticker booklet and I want to stick sticker sheets onto paper. I just run this over. So essentially, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's kind of like 
whiteout tape but sticky glue so it allows you to just if I just roll it on here and then I can stick another piece of paper on that's pretty much it and I like that it's not messy and from what I can tell it doesn't seem to dry up the other good thing and I don't know if it's with this brand but the ones that I use they are sticky enough that they will hold the paper but not so sticky that you can't pull it up if you wanted to pull it up later which is sometimes what I want to do so they're forgiving in that sense so that's what that does oh we have another pen here is this a pen or a pencil looks to be a pencil so I will put that aside. I feel like there's a lot in this month, like a lot more than usual. I don't know. Then we have some sticky labels, which is really similar to the ones we got last month, although the last month ones were really thin. These ones are a little bit thicker, really, really good for studying in textbooks. I use this all the time when I was in high school and university, so this is gonna be great. Plus we have this like little plushy, which um, I'm not sure if you, if, from the box, this guy. It's like a toy version of this guy. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. I'm gonna open him up. How adorable is he? Oh, I just love him. Or her. I don't know. Oh, this thing's a little bit loose, this clip. But that's okay. I probably won't need that anyways. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so cute. Um, we have some washi tape. This is kind of like a blue marble dark blue washi tape. I'll just open it up so you can see it a bit better. Is this much clearer? Like a nice, got a bit some purple in it. And the sun's coming out, so there's a bit of a glare coming through now. We've got some Mount Fuji memo stickers or sticky notes. Definitely very useful and cute. Oh, it's like a little notebook. Oh, okay. So I'm just reading the pamphlet and I think there's a lot more to it than just a cute notebook. Okay, so the name is called Smareko, I'm guessing. I hope I said that right. And it's a combination of smart plus record. So it's supposed to actually sync, I think, with your app, like with an app on your phone. So essentially what you seem to have to do is you download an app and then you to take a picture of the notes you write here and then it will translate into the app itself. And then you can store that note, I suppose, that's on your phone into like Evernote or email it to someone or something like that. Um, but it will like digitize it. That is so cool. I am actually going to try this, like, I will try this on camera after I, I'll do the pens first, then I'll try this, because I want to see if this works. I am so curious now, that is cool. And we have an eraser. It's supposed to have a scent, like, it's supposed to smell like oranges, but, like, I'm smelling it now. I don't really smell oranges, but it doesn't really matter, because I don't think I'm someone who would smell my erasers, so I'm fine with that. So, we've got some stickers. I think I have... I either have these or I have very similar ones because I did remember recently buying something similar. But essentially you put them, just them up. They're really good for just putting around dates or just labeling. And you get two sheets. Okay, so one on both sides. Oh, here's a slightly better example of how you might use them. But it just adds a little something extra to your planner. And then this last one is a zipper bag. <laughs> That's cute. They recommend that you can put like stationery or watchy tape in here or anything like this. Not really my cup of tea in terms of design, but I do like the concept. Okay, so we're at the end of the box. I'm going to just shuffle a few things around and then start testing out the pens. Okay, so I'm back. I'm completely zoomed in now so you can see everything in much more detail. So I'm going to start off with the replacement pen, which... I think if you got this box, you probably wouldn't get these two, but I'm gonna write with them anyways, just so you can see. It's essentially exactly the same as the orange one I got last week, but it should hopefully not be dried out at all. Yep. Oh, it's a really nice rich blue color. Yeah, perfect. I love it. It's so nice. Okay, and then the next one, is this friction color pen from Pilot. So, okay, it's a very inky-like pen and I don't know whether I have to wait for it to dry before I can start to rub it out, the little... So for those of you who aren't familiar, friction pens are basically pens that you can erase um, when you apply heat. I personally am not the biggest fan of friction pens just because when that's and for that same reason, when heat is applied, the ink does disappear and I don't like that lack of I mean, I love having things perfect, just like I will rip out notebook pages if I don't think they look good in a notebook or anything like that. And I love using pencil because I'm going to erase that. But I like, I want to have control. If I'm going to erase something, I want to decide to erase it. I don't want the temperature to erase it for me. 
which is why I don't tend to use them very much. But I do enjoy the concept. So let's see. Oh yes, you can erase it quite easily. I have heard though that if you say put this in the freezer, the ink comes back again. Have you guys ever heard of that? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I feel like I should try that one day, but I have heard that as being something that can happen. So this is the next pen I'm going to use. It's a ballpoint pen by Zebra Surari. And let's give it a shot. Ooh. It said 0.5, but I feel like it's way finer than that. It feels mm, kind of like a 0.4, which, okay, I know we're literally talking about like 0.1 of a millimeter now, but it feels finer than that and I like it. It feels comfortable, it writes well. It's a nice pen. So the next one we have is this one. It is Sakura Sharp Nox Pure. It's a mechanical pencil. It doesn't really say how thick the pencil is, but just looking at it, it feels like a 0.5. At least that would be my guess. Yep, it's a 0.5. I'm pretty sure. I'm willing to put some money on that. <laughs> but it's very beautiful. I love the pearlescent color of this pencil itself. It just is very unique and pretty. Cool, and now we are on to the mild liners. So I'm gonna try each one. It basically comes in a pack of five. I might speed up this part so you can see them all without me like taking a long time because I think it's gonna take a little bit to get through all five to show you both sides of it. So yeah, I'll be right back. There you have it. I tried to line it up so you could kind of see the corresponding pen with the color, but I think I'm so zoomed in, it's kind of getting a bit cut off. I love the colors, they're very pigmented. They look a little bit more faded in the camera, but in person they're a little bit more pigmented. Happy with them. Not my favorite color range, just because I tend to love pastels and brights more, but I can definitely see a use case for these, so I'm really happy to have them and they write really well. Okay, so as I said before, I am going to try out this notebook. I am so curious to see if it works. I'm very excited and I'm probably going to fumble and get things wrong as I go. So bear with me. It's my first time trying this out, but I'm really excited. Okay, so this is the notebook. It's beautiful. It's such a convenient size and at the back they have some instructions. So I'm going to follow these on the side and see how I go. Oh, and there's more instructions here. It's all the same. I think it's not all the same. No, it is the same. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Very, very faded, but there are like rectangles at the top here. And then there's kind of like rectangles down the side here. And very softly between all the actual lines, the writing lines, there's tons of like a dotted grid effect going on. Can't tell. Let me see if I can dim this a little bit. There you go. I think it's clearer when I dim the exposure down, but yeah, you can definitely see it there. So that's probably what they're using to try and translate. I'm just calling up iTunes on my phone and I just type in the name of the brand. I think it's this one, the note, just based off what I'm reading here. I just want to make sure I do get the right one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. So I'm going to download it. I don't seem to mention a preference of pens to use, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually I might just use this one that came with the kit. I'll zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see clearer what I'm writing. There we go. So this pretty much looks like the example now. So I'm going to open up the app, see what I have to do. Oh no. Look what just happened. That is such a bummer. I did notice when I looked at this that it did say iPhone 4. Wait, let's focus. It did say iPhone 4 4S. And I thought maybe that's the minimum, hopefully, that it's not, that it would only work for the 4 4S. But I suspect this is what it means. Oh, I mean, I'm going to try it anyways. Because you never know. Can I zoom you guys out so you can see what I'm trying to do? I know this is going to work just because. What else? What do? Uh oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Undo. <laughs> it's recognizing the sections of the photo. I don't know what it's actually doing though. Make 
literally in my photos, all it's done is actually save it as a photo. Okay, I'm getting confused and a little bit... I'm probably not very interested now because it just does seem a little bit strange to have to write all this, do all this extra work, and then it not be very clear. So, I'm gonna count this one as a bit of a fail. I'm sure I've done it wrong and if you guys know how to do it properly, then be, feel free to let me know how it's supposed to be done. But as a first time user, this was not a great user experience, so probably not so keen on the notebook. I mean, I like the notebook as a notebook itself, like that would have been enough of a win for me. So maybe I will just use it as a notebook. So yeah, that is pretty much the entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a little bit longer, but I want to really test everything. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.